On behalf of the Governing Council of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, CIBN, and the Consultative Committee of the 13th Annual Banking and Finance Conference, and the entire banking industry in Nigeria, I wish to welcome you and thank you for attending this unique hybrid press conference, which is the first of its kind in the annals of the CIBN. Distinguished gentlemen of the press, permit me to first and foremost also use this opportunity to acknowledge and commend you for your consistent, extensive, and positive coverage of past activities and events of the Institute and indeed of the banking industry. Your support has built for us unprecedented goodwill which we leverage on today to the benefit of all our stakeholders. This also underscores your agenda setting role and the enormous influence you wield in shaping the course of our economy. As the fourth estate of the realm, we are aware of your explicit capacity for advocacy and implicit ability to frame and shape issues. In light of this, we have found in you a dependable ally as we journey through the path of repositioning the banking and finance industry as a catalyst for an inclusive and sustainable economic growth and development of our country. For this reason, we have chosen to inform you and engage you this morning before rolling out our conference. Gentlemen of the press, the purpose of this press conference is to intimate you about the 13th Annual Banking and Finance Conference scheduled for the 15th and 16th of September this year, 2020, with the theme, Facilitating a Sustainable Future, the Role of Banking and Finance. In view of the COVID-19 pandemic, this year's edition of the conference is indeed unique, creative, and innovative. It will be executed using a hybrid of virtual and physical platforms with strict adherence to the precautionary protocols against the spread of the pandemic. Overall, we anticipate more than 2,500 participants across the globe to participate virtually through the Zoom teleconferencing. There will also be two physical locations at the Congress Hall of the Transcorp Hilton Hotel Abuja and the Bankers House, Victoria Island, Lagos for this conference. Both the virtual and physical activities of this conference will hold simultaneously and will be synchronized to give an all-round uh, easy participation for all stakeholders. The conference itself is an annual forum of key operators, regulators, policy makers, members of the academia, millennials, and other stakeholders in the banking and finance industry to brainstorm on strategic issues that are critical to building a sound and sustainable financial system in Nigeria. It is also meant to stimulate the growth of the economy, particularly as we rebound from the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The resolutions at the conference are usually made available to all relevant stakeholders and policymakers to enable them to reappraise and align their operations and strategies in line with global best practices. The theme of the conference, facilitating a sustainable future, the role of banking and finance, is predicated on the need to evaluate the role of the banking and finance industry in engendering an inclusive, sustainable growth, as well as offering direction to Nigerian banks, financial institutions, 
guidance and collaborative discussion with regulators, policymakers, and other stakeholders on how to reposition the industry for relevance in the new world order by leveraging on digitization to boost Nigeria's economy. We have indeed invited major dignitaries. We have invited His Excellency, the President of our country, President Muhammadu Buhari, GCFR, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We have also extended invitation to His Excellency, the President of the Federal Rep of the Republic of Ghana, President Nana Adu Dankwa Akufu Adu. We have invited our own Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Ahmad Lawan, the Speaker of the House of Representatives of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Honorable Femi Bajabia Mila. And of course, the Executive Governor of the most vibrant economic state in Nigeria, the Executive Governor of Lagos State, His Excellency Mr. Babajide Sonwolu. We have indeed invited our Honorable Minister of Finance of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mrs. Zainab Ahmed, and Mr. Muhammadu Musa, who is the Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital, Federal Capital Territory, amongst others. The chief host of the conference, naturally, is the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Godwin Emefiele, CON FCIB, was the home host of the conference, is the president and chairman of council of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, Mr. Bayo Olugemi, FCIB. We have carefully assembled a spectrum of highly experienced and renowned industry experts as resource persons to deliberate and prefer solutions at the various sessions. The keynote speaker of the conference, who will set the tone, is Dr. Okechuku Enelama, Nigeria's former Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, and who currently chairs African Capital Alliance. Having garnered experience in the world's renowned financial centers of London and New York, as well as Johannesburg, he co-founded the African Capital Alliance to promote private sector-led investments in Nigeria and West Africa. Dr. Enelama is a renowned qualified chartered accountant, chartered financial analyst, and was elected the George F. Baker Scholar and designated Lord Fellow for Academic Excellence in the area of finance at the Harvard Graduate School of Business Administration, where he earned a master's in business administration degree with distinction in 1994. A medical doctor by training, Dr. Enelama's journey into the world of finance spanned over the firm of Arthur Anderson & Co, now KPMG Professional Services, where he led project teams as senior consultant and audit senior. He later went to work in the New York and London offices of Goldman Sachs and Co. in the summer of 1993, before moving on to Zephyr Management LP in New York as an investment manager. Dr. Enelama became a principal at Capital Zephyr Johannesburg, South Africa, between 1995 and 1997, where he worked as chief executive to launch a $150 million fund for direct equity investments in post-apartheid South Africa. You will agree with me that we have indeed chosen a leading professional in the industry and acclaimed competent expert in the field of economics, in the field of development, in the, in the field of trade and investment, in Dr. Enelama to be the keynote speaker at this conference. Other confirmed resource persons include Princess Adejoke Orelope Adefulire, who is the 
SSA to the President on Sustainable Development Goals, Dr. Jumoke Oduwale, who is Special Advisor to the President on the Ease of Doing Business, the well-renowned Dr. Oba Otudeko, CFR, who needs no further introduction, uh, my colleagues in the banking industry, CEOs of Stambik IBTC Holdings PLC, Dr. Demola Shogunle, uh, Dr. Adeshola Adedunton, who is CEO of First Bank, Mr. Namdi Okonkwo, who is GMD CEO of Fidelity Bank, uh, Mrs. Fol Ms. Folake Fatube, who is Director of Risk Management at the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mrs. Cholakwe Hammond, Special Advisor to the Lagos State Governor on Sustainable Development Goals and Investment, the CEO of Sterling Bank, Mr. Abubakar Sulaiman, the CEO of Axion Microfinance Bank, Mr. Taiwo Joda, the Chief Technology Officer of Coronation Merchant Bank, Mr. Momo Ehil Vase, Executive Director at Citibank, Mrs. Fumi Ogunlesi, Mr. Kola Lawal, Executive Director and Chief Risk Officer at Stambik IBTC, Akuma, who is founder of Farm Crowdy, Mr. Ayodeji Balogun, CEO, FX Commodity Exchange, Mr. Oluwagbemiga Adelowo, who is head corporate bank at, the, at United Bank for Africa. I am pleased to inform you that the conference will feature five business and two breakout sessions, which include inclusive banking, where are we, and the way forward, risks of facilitating a sustainable future, are banks prepared, innovations and disruptions, how fintechs are defining our future, leadership and competence, repos repositioning the banking industry for relevance, and finally, in terms of the business sessions, green banking and economic growth. For the two breakout sessions, we have the impact of finance on emerging sectors with spotlight on MSMEs, manufacturing, creativity, and agriculture industry. The second is the impact of finance on emerging sectors, leveraging digital by the banking industry. Dear esteemed gentlemen of the press, I'm excited to disclose that this year's edition of the conference will be very unique and memorable. Apart from providing participants a veritable platform to connect with other professionals and industry stakeholders across the world, it promises to be intellectually stimulating. It is the first ever blended or call it hybrid conference of the Institute. The event is also set to make history as the largest gathering of bankers in Africa and the first free, free, paying participation conference of the Institute. We implore participants to register for this conference through the link bit.ly backslash 2020 CIBN conference. Let me repeat. bit.ly lower caps backslash 2020 CIBN conference. Distinguished ladies, distinguished gentlemen of the press, I now wish to use this medium to request for your robust coverage of the conference before, during, and after. We solicit your support as media partners of the conference. For the print journalists, we solicit your assistance in the areas of quality features, straight news stories, press releases, and photo publications, as well as advert placement on strategic pages of your newspapers 
while for the electronic media, inclusive of the social media, we will appreciate a comprehensive coverage of the conference during your flagship news bulletins, starting from the opening ceremony to the closing ceremony. Saving the best for the last, I wish to confirm that the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Godwin MFLA, FCIB, will be delivering a key address at this conference. This is meant to allow you get an insight on the progress made in the key sectors deriving from the policies that have been executed to bring real, sustainable, inclusive banking in Nigeria to support the economic growth of our country. I therefore welcome you on board this journey to hosting a most successful and publicized, well-publicized conference. I urge you to passionately partner with us on this journey to build a sustainable future for our dear country, Nigeria. Gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your kind attention. <laughs>